Welcome to this Digital Steel School Graphic Design Webinar. Um, this is a free webinar organized by Digital Steel School. Digital Steel School, I mean, as we go on, we've got to know more about Digital Steel School. So, about the Digital Steel School, uh, what is Digital Steel School? We are basically a tech company that caters for the needs of everyone that wants to get into the tech industry, basically. And um, we train and mentor young people in different areas of tech and creativity as well as help them get placement for jobs and internship positions and um, we are not just a tech company we are a tribe of young people that help one another get job opportunities and referrals to tech projects and grants to help advance our careers in the tech and creative sector right so of course, you can find us on our website www.digitalskillschool.org and you can also search for Digital Skills School on Instagram, LinkedIn, or Facebook. Um, we are visible everywhere on the internet. So if you just search us on Google, as for just go on Google search and search for Digital Skills School, of course, we're going to pop up on Google. So that is this is who we are. Um, a little bit about me, um, my name is Emmanuel Atta and um, people call me Coach Atta and I'm a tech generalist. So basically I know a little bit about different aspects of tech. I'm a digital marketer, content creator, I'm a writer, um, I have books published on, on Amazon. I'm a YouTuber, filmmaker and a keynote speaker. Um, and also I'm the founder of Digital Skill School so you can get me on my own social media, personal social media handles as well, Coach Atta, on Instagram and Facebook, and on LinkedIn and Emmanuel Atta on LinkedIn. Right, so let's proceed. All right, so like I said, this um, design, this training is going to be the take two form. It's going to be the theoretical aspect of it, and there's also going to be the practical aspect of it. So I'm going to, once we finish the theoretical aspect, I'm going to go in to do some designs um, it's going to be very practical and um, so that's because that's what that's what we're here for but mind you let me just go ahead and say that this is just a, a little portion of the bigger graphic design course we have a graphic design course that is about eight about eight to nine hours of design training on our platform and the price for that is just about 42 dollars which is around 27,000 in Naira is about 42 dollars so and it's a training that you can learn on your own so if you enjoy this training if you enjoy this basic introduction that we're doing and you want to learn more you want to really go in depth and know more about graphic design and then also get certificates you can check out that course of course I'll send you the link to check it out and um, because after you get you if you do the full course you get certified and you also you get to join our tech community like i said you know if, if you listen to what i say here about digital skills we are a tech community not just um, a school that sells courses we help you to get we mentor you we also help you to get job opportunities and, and internship opportunities and but it's only exclusive for it's only exclusive for people that have taken our courses and have joined our tech community on whatsapp yeah so that's just it that's the benefit of taking our courses okay now please, please pay very good attention because see what makes a graphic designer is not just your ability to put designs together it's not just your ability to do designs right it design is a thinking it's a way you think it's not necessary it's not only about combining colors combining shapes and everything it is a way of thinking that is what graphic design is it's not just about it's, it's basically that that's for me that's my personal way of, this, of describing graphic design it's a way of thinking and graphic design is a craft where professionals create visual content to communicate messages by applying visual hierarchy and page, page layout techniques designers use typography and pictures to meet users specific needs 
and focus on logic of displaying elements in interactive designs to optimize the user experience. Now, there are a lot of keywords that I've mentioned here. Of course, every field of study has specific keywords that is used in that, in that, um, in that particular field. So if you go to, um, if, if you watch our graphic introduction to, uh, to social media marketing course that's available on our YouTube channel, you will realize that social media marketing has its own, has its own terminologies, web development has its own terminologies, and design, some of the terminologies, terminolo terminologies I've mentioned are um, layouts. So you can underline layout. Um, you can underline two. Right, let me let me just highlight it. Layout. You know there is um, there's typography. You know there's pictures. There is you know logic. There's display ele There's element. Display element. There is interactive design. You know. So then there's user experience. All these are terminologies that you need to know as a graphic designer. You know, you need to so you need to note them down and probably do further research, do further studies on it. Of course, these are the things that in the full course we really go in depth on. Um, so all right, let's let's proceed. So many items in your life hold an image that is created to convey information. And all these things are designed by someone. The graphics on the front of a of a cereal box, of a food box, on the package, or on the um, packaging in your cupboard, the information on billboards and bus stop posters to pass on your way to work, the, the graphics of the body of an energy drink, for instance, all these designs are done by somebody. So now let's use the Red Bull example. You know, the, the people that designed, um, okay, this is just what I was talking about, just us now. Look at, so this image that is on the left, um, yes, my left um, is is like it's a picture of your fridge, of your refrigerator, or your or your kitchen shelf, and you see that this is a cereal box. This is oats. This is this is another cereal. These are cereals. These are um, drinks, I believe. Yeah, all this everything you see around us has design. The food you eat. The water you, you drink, even the bus water you take, on the body there is some kind of design on it. Every every packaged food. Now look at the design of Red Bull. Red Bull is a very popular energy drink, um, but the designers you designed a, a, a Red Bull that, that looks very very angry to to depict the fact that when you drink this energy drink you have energy. Like a bull, you you sure you, you you would have energy, you know, and that is a very the person that created that design. They have been people have been using that design for for many years, and they have not changed that design because that design actually conveys exactly what a drink is all about, right? So that's the just it. So design has to convey a message. It doesn't necessarily every design must have a purpose, and the purpose must be to convey information basically all right let's let's go on. uh let's 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 go now to the advantages of being a graphic designer all right graphic designers can make decent money of course let me just tell you one thing that there's never been a time when we need more graphic designers in the world than now like graphic designers are in high demand as someone that teaches people different skills, different tech skills, I know how many requests I have for graphic designers on a daily basis. People are, a lot of brands, a lot of companies, businesses are looking for graphic designers on a daily basis. They are not enough. In as much as many people are learning, not, not many people are learning the graphic design the right way for them to be able to, and how like to, for them to be able to um, create the kind of designs that people want. You know, so graphic designers can make decent money too. You can work indoors as a graphic designer. Of course, as a graphic designer, you can work remotely. You can work from home. Most graphic designers I know work remotely. They work with clients not just from Nigeria, but from graphic designers. They work with clients from all over 
a country, one of my friends, um, he's a very, he's a good graphic designer. I mean, he, he works with clients from all over Africa, all over the world, right? Graphic designers can do creative work, yes. And if you see, there are some designs you will see that you will marvel, you will be like, who created this work, you know? Um, you can work from, you can work for different companies. Of course, as a freelance graphic designer, you don't have to work for one company. You can do designs for different clients, different companies. Graphic designers are self-employed, yes. Um, they have, they, are, they can still update with related technology. Of course, as a graphic designer, you keep updating yourself. Your two things you must not run out of. Your laptop must not run out of battery. You must not run out of internet connectivity because you need to be updating yourself what's happening in the world of design, in the world generally. Yes, remote work will always often be possible. You never get you can make significant money on the side, of course. So even if you are doing a full-time job, I know graphic designers that are doing full-time jobs in companies um, that are earning, let me say, 80 to 100 to 120K in Naira now, um, convert that to dollars. Um, and some graphic designers also are making as much as uh, $1,000, $3,000, $5,000 as full-time employees. Now, that does not stop them from getting side gigs. Oh, help me do this movie, movie flyer. Help me do this events flyer. Help me do this um, logo design for my company. They get that money on the side. So that is one of the advantages of doing graphic design, of being a graphic designer. Um, good work-life balance for graphic designers. Well, that, that number nine is a bit arguable anyway, but yeah. Yes, it depends on your self-discipline. Most graphic designers are always, of course, we'll see that in the disadvantage. I'll explain more of that, the disadvantages. And um, number 10 is you can leverage digital, digital channels. Yes, so just like, for example, now I'm training you, graphic designer, we're using digital channels. I mean, um, I'm somewhere in Lagos, Nigeria, and you watching me, either you're watching me now on YouTube, or you're watching me now live here, um, you, you are, you, we are using technology to communicate, and we're in different locations. So, yes, um, working as a graphic designer is not that stressful. Of course, it's soft work. It's soft, it's not like you're carrying, it's not physical work that you have to maybe carry something or lift something. You can be with your, on your system for hours, Yes, it's, it's mental work, it's not um, physical work, so it's, it's, it's better, you know. You can avoid heavy physical work, of course, as number 12, number 13 is good job prospects for graphic designers. Like I said before, there's a lot of demand for graphic designers right now, not just in Africa, but all over the world. And so, there's, if you want to become a, a full-time graphic designer, it is really, really good. But there's a lot of opportunities for graphic designers. All right, good graphic designers will also will also be needed in the future, of course. So no matter how much technology, no matter how much technology um, um, proceeds in the world, there will always be a need for graphic designers. There will always, always be a need for graphic designers in the world, not just now but also in the future, right? So yes, it is a it is a it is a skill that cannot. And not how I put it become obsolete. It, it cannot become obsolete no matter how much technology advances. Because no matter how the next iPhone, how beautiful the next iPhone will be, someone will design the body. The next iPhone that's coming out, the iPhone 14 that's about to be launched this year, graphic designers, designers have already designed it. They have designed the body. They have designed how the back will look, how the front will look. So um, graphic design. Being a designer is something that you can be sure that you will always be employed for life. Okay, let's look at the disadvantages of being a graphic designer. So, I mean, okay, we had 14 advantages and we have 8 disadvantages. I'm sure there are more, but most graphic designers don't get rich. Well, I mean, if you are in Africa, if you are in, okay, let's just say if you are, let's, let's use our situation. If you are in Nigeria, you are in Ghana, you know. Graphic designers, not many graphic designers get rich. Why? Because of the impact. It's environmental. Outside this country, graphic designers are paid. If you follow one of my mentors in the graphic design world, Chris Doe. Chris Doe is someone that cannot charge you less than $15,000, $20,000 for, 
for to create a logo for you. Here you get. So graphic designers are not making much money in this part of the world because the environment will not really value them. You know, people will see plenty to do it a, a flyer design for five thousand naira when it is it's, it's not obtainable. So a flyer a flyer design should not be less than five hundred dollars. So five hundred dollars is hundreds of thousands of naira of it. And when you convert it to when you convert it to our situation here in Nigeria or in Ghana, yes, it's just environmental. But like I said, if you leverage technology, you should you should be able to you should be able to um, get clients from all over the world. You have to work with a system, with a computer all day. Yes, so graphic designers are like nerds. They are always on their system. They are always on their system. They can wake, they sleep on their system, wake up on their system, eat on their system. Like, honestly speaking, it can be really, really stressful. Many graphic designer jobs may be outsourced in the future. Yes. Um, so there's, there's, there's opportunities for freelancing in the future. So many companies might not want to have in-house, even though right now in the country, there's a lot of opportunities for in-house graphic design. But in the future, that might change. You may be dependent on your parents for quite a long while. Yes, of course. Um, for some of some people that are staying with their parents, you know, because of the fact that graphic designers are not making lots of money, um, you might, as especially when you're starting a graphic design career, if you have a computer, you know, staying with your parents for quite some the first few years, it's not a bad idea. So you can, you can save up money and launch your own career. So you may feel lonely at work. Of course, yes. Anybody that works with the system, anybody that's into tech, into design, career, are always lonely because you are always by yourself. You have to deliver work. You have to deliver for your clients. And so most times, you're always locked up in your room or in your office doing work. Um, you may get lazy in the long run. Um, so what, what that happens is that, and here, okay, graphic designer have to go to the gym. So getting lazy, number six and seven, let's tie them together and say that this is because of the fact that, you know, when you are staying, staying, um, when you sit down for a long time, basically, when you're always sitting down, of course, when you're working with system, you're always sitting down. In the long run, this will it may affect your health. You may become overweight. And so most times it's good to consciously take care of yourself by going to the gym, to by doing exercise, by going on a walk, you know? So, yeah, because they say, I mean, uh, the, the scientists have said that sitting for a long time is worse than it's worse than some 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 killer diseases, you know, when you are just sitting down. And so even me, you know, when I sit down at the office and I sit down, I, I make sure that every two hours I stand up and take a walk around the same office. Every two hours. I don't sit down for three hours at a stretch. Every two hours I stand up, take a walk, come back, sit down. Just so that your your body does not become lazy. Right? All right. Um, you will often not see results quickly. Yes, yeah, so when you are starting your career as a graphic designer, like I said, most of the designs you'll be doing most likely will be free or will be low priced. So you might not see results quickly. I know graphic designers are not earning hundreds of thousands, right? But if they were to tell you their story, of course, um, that's why we have the mentorship session. The last mentorship session we had was for graphic designers. And one of the people, one of the perfect persons that I invited to come and take that graphic design mentorship session is a very good friend of mine that has been into graphic design for a long time. And he shared his own career journey, how he started and where he is now. Where he is now, he's, he, he, he just got married and, you know, he's a freelance graphic designer. I asked him the other day, are you sure this graphic design work you are doing is enough to feed your family? He said more than very well. <laughs> so that means that he's making some good money, uh, but it, it wasn't always like that, right? Okay, design inspiration. All right, this is where we have to go to my computer right now, design inspiration. So where do you find design inspiration? As a designer, there are some places you need to go to get inspiration. All right, design inspiration, Chris Do. Chris Do, like I said, is a personal, um, role model of mine when it comes to design. So, we'll put to some people you must be following on Instagram. 
Um, number one is Chris Doe. As a designer, if you're not following Chris Doe, you are wrong. You are totally wrong. So Chris Doe, go to Instagram and search for Chris Doe. This is him. He's one of the, he should, he's arguably the number one designer in the world right now. Chris Doe is arguably the number one designer in the world right now. And just look at him. This is where you can get top notch design inspiration from. Please take note, write this down. Chris Doe, follow him on Instagram. He's, he's most active on Instagram. Um, so yes, follow this page. You can see the kind of designs on his page. They are fantastic designs. They are not um, anyhow kind of designs that you can that you can find just anywhere, right? So whenever I want to do a design and I'm, I'm, I'm lacking inspiration, I don't know what to how to design it. I come to this page and just check and just look at it and say, ah, what do I what do I design? And of course, when I see these designs, I, I get the inspiration that I need to do my own design. So let's, let's go and check the next one. The next one is founder. Founder with a, without the R. Without the E, sorry. Founder. Yes, I'll be writing this down. Found, founder. Founder is another very good design inspiration. Their designs are, their designs are fantastic, as you can see. As you can see, their designs are fantastic. There's no, I also come here to get design inspiration. And of course, in the, in the full graphic design course, in the full graphic design course, one of the designs we did, the practical designs we did in the, in the full course was taken from this page. I'm sure that design is down, 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 down now. Um, because we recorded that course a while ago, but one of the, the designs we, we, we did, one of the practical, designs we did was from this page. Yeah, so I uh, mean you might want to check out that particular course. All right, let's go to check the next design inspiration, Behance. Behance has a website at the same time have an Instagram page. Let's just go to the Instagram page. You can check out their website later. Behance. So these are places you need to come to just see what kind of designs that are doing. You know, these are illustrative designs, so these are not very, really, but it still falls under the domain of graphic design, you know. These are more like NFTs and um, illustrative designs, right? So, but yeah, you can still come to Behance. Also go to their website, behance.com for, for, um, for more. And then design perspective. This is another very interesting set of people. Design perspective. Well, yes, these guys are, um, are, are bad, bad guys when it comes to design. They are bad guys when it comes to design. As you can see, these designs are crazy. And one thing you might have, have noticed from all these design pages I'm, I'm showing you is simplicity, right? Simplicity is the key. They are not, if you see a lot of graphic design, as most graphic designers do, they just pack a lot of design a lot of unnecessary elements. Well, you can see the design, very, very simple. Yeah. Twitter logo, Instagram logo, Facebook logo, text, text, you know, here, and you can see. Very simple, simple designs. And that is my own design style as well, right? So yeah, this is this is design inspiration. These are where you get design inspiration. Look at this design, Fan absolutely fantastic design. Absolutely fantastic design. But you can see simplicity. When there is no need for text, they put all the text in, in here. Look at the text, look at the text, look, oh my god. This, this, look at this. Simplicity. No tool, nothing much is happening. But yet, the design is very sweet and beautiful. I hope you're following me. Um, so, yeah, just ask this for design inspiration. Um, next slide. And Yes, so we'll come to the end of the practice of the theoretical aspects. So I'm going to jump over now. Now, for your assignments, yes, even though this is a free course, you must also get the graph. Please screenshot this. This assignment screenshot is very, very important. Um, screenshot this. Uh, watch a tutorial on grid, space, and type in graphic design. Watch a tutorial on basic typography. 
the need to learn about typography in graphic design, please. Very, very important. Very, very, very important. And then you just need to watch a tutorial on design thinking for graphic designers. You need to watch a tutorial on graphic or design thinking for graphic designers. Very, very important. My design tool, um, my design tool is um, Canva. My design tool is Canva. That is a tool I use to design, right? And I know that many of you must have heard the design tool called Canva before. Now, let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you. Canva is the best design tool in the world as of now. I know there is, I know there is Photoshop, there is um, there's Illustrator, there's Corel Draw, but let me just tell you for free, Canva is the best graphic design tool you can you can have. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. I'm telling you the truth because of the fact that it is very very easy to use. It is not the kind of um, you don't have to learn it for three months. When you are learning Photoshop, when you are learning um, Adobe, uh, you are learning Photoshop, you are learning Illustrator, you are learning Corel Draw. Before you can master those tools and start doing good design, you need at least one month, if not two months. Some people even take up the three months of practice. But trust me, what I'm going to show you now, you will start designing today. today. So right now, um, write it down, canva.com, you need to create an account. Of course, creating an account is very, very simple. So um, let me share my, let me share my referral link to you. So click on this link and create your own Canva account. You know, www.canva.com slash join slash giant promise horse. Um, yes, H O S C for the host. Yeah. And um, you'll be able to, you'll be able to create your Canva, your Canva um, account. But since I've already created my Canva account, um, let's, let's, let's just go straight and create a design. Let's go straight and create a design straight up. Let's not waste any time. And I'm going to show you how to create a design fast, fast, no jokes right here. So now, like I said before, when you want to create a design, the first thing you need to do is two things. If a client comes to you and say, oh, I want to create a design, first of all, you need to ask them to give you a design brief. Write that down. You need to create a design brief. Now, in the full course, we really to tend to explain what a client brief is. A client brief simply means a written form of what the client wants you to do. And it makes sense to have a written form. Like you will not keep calling the client and say, hello, did you see that you make it blue color or red color? When the client has written down what they want you to do, basically, eh? honestly, all you need to do is focus on that design, on that brief, and see the design true. It's very, very important. And that's why you need to kind of like change the full course so that because we talk more in depth on how to interpret a client's brief. Very, very important. Very, very important. But, and then after you have a brief, you now go and look for design inspiration. You need to go and look for design inspiration and check what other similar designs have been done, right? So that you can use that as your design inspiration. Okay, so let's look for, let me look for a brief, a design brief now. Or, you know what, let's, let's go straight and look for design inspiration. Let's look for, let me replicate one of these designs. Let me just look for a design here. And replicate for you guys. Uh, let me look for a one something that is easy but not too easy. Um, for one, let me see this. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Of course, design inspiration can take time. Oh, I mean, when you are trying to design something, it can it can take it can take up to a whole day. Because design, like I said, is a way of thinking, and thinking takes time. So you don't need to, to you don't need to let people rush you when you are doing design. You need to take your time. Because if you don't do the design well, they will still come and blame you. So let me, since we are this, since we are on a timer, and we have less than twenty minutes to end this class, let's just do 
let's just do a free a, a, an easy design like this let's look at this let me look for something uh, let me look for something okay let's just let's let's create something like this let's create something like let us create this let's let's create this like this the way it is from design perspective right let's create this design and so when you get your canva of course you can see my canva i've created many designs with canva many designs with canva many many designs many many designs right so you want to come here and click on create design when you open your canva account you are going to see this button creates design. I hope you are seeing my screen clearly. Right, create design. Now, one thing that's good with Canva is that Canva has a lot of templates. A lot of templates. If you are using Photoshop or Illustrator or um, how like put it, um, how like uh, which other software is there? Um, yeah, they are three. They are three major anyway. You have to create everything from scratch. Even though they, most of the latest versions of this software are trying to copy Canva, but Canva is the most widely used design software in the world right now. Take it from me, Google it and find out. So they have a lot of templates. So if you come here now to templates and you just click on that app, you see that there's templates for social media, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, personal, invitation cards, and um, um, CV, postcard, business, presentation slide, website. As you can see, you can even create a website on Canva. Logo, business card, invoice, business um, business letterhead, marketing, posters, flyers, infographics, newsletters, proposals, classroom. So you have all these templates. If you click on any of these templates, automatically it, it will give you a, a form of which you can you can start creating that design for, right? And then even if you click create design, it will give you you want to create certificates, you want to create a poster, you want to create a resume, a flyer. We want to create since this is an Instagram post, right? We want to create an Instagram post. An Instagram post has a specific size. Instagram post is 1080 by 1080. Now write this down. Whatever you are doing designs for the internet, designs for social media. Right, are measured designs for the internet, designs for the for social media are measured in pixel pixels. Now, while designs for printing are measured, so if I, if I come here and I want to create my own custom design, I don't want to use the templates that Canva is showing me. I come here and click on this plot to create custom design. Now Canva will automatically assume I want to create a design for the internet and it will set this. This is where you set your measure, unit of measurement. This is pixel. But there is inches, there is millimeter, there is centimeter. These are for when you want to create a design that you want to actually print out. But if you are creating a design for the internet, let's say for social media or for websites, most likely it's going to be in pixel. You want to Always make sure you remember that. Don't create design in inches if you want to create design for the internet. Because any image you see on the internet is measured in pixels, not in inches or in millimeters. So take note of that very important. So let's create our, our, our Instagram design. So Instagram post, 1080 by 1080 pixel. Let's click on create. And um, we're gonna, Canva is going to do its magic and give us a 1080 by 1080 Canva. So this box here that Canva has created is called a Canva, a canvas, basically. That's why the, the app generally is called Canva. So um, that's that's just it. All right, let's let's go on. So I'm trying to make this bigger. So let me um, zoom this. On system and pressing control plus and using a max and pressing command plus to make this bigger to make this smaller all right so now let's let's look at it here now now on this side is what you call templates now in the course I took time to 
teach each of these, what each of these um, buttons do, what each of these does, what each of these does. But we don't have time to, we just want to create a design. Now, guess what? Canva has created hundreds of thousands of designs for you already. So, you don't need to stress yourself to design anything from the scratch. If you want to just, if you want to do, use it to these templates now, eh? if you want to use these templates, now all you have to do is um, just click on it and it will appear on the on the Canva and you can change anything you want to change here, as you can see. You can change anything you want to change there. Uh, now, whenever you see an image with this X, as you can see that I think there's lines on the body. It means that you cannot use that image for free. So simply avoid images that have this remove watermark. Avoid it, right? And then when you see images with these templates, with this crown, it means that you have to. So Canva has the free version. Canva has the the pro version. The pro version is what the one you pick. I'm using the free version. I've been using the free version for many years now, you know, and I'm okay with it. But yes. The, the paid version gives you access to even more, more materials. And it's not expensive. I think it's about $12 or $7 there about. It's not expensive at all. So, and you can make designs that look like, people, that even are better than people that are using Photoshop. So, all right, so let's put our design inspiration. Let's look at this. Uh, okay, background is bluish. Okay, so let's go and Let's make our design, our background. Let's change the color. To change the color, of course, you come here, click this, and you see the different colors. That background is a bit bluish. Uh, so now, this background is a bit lighter. This blue is a bit lighter. It's very, very light. It's almost like white, but it's not white. Uh, so as a designer, you need to have a good eye, a very good eye. To be able to identify colors. So let me come here, click here, and try to reduce the intensity of that blue a little bit. Let me come here. Hopefully, I can get it as close as possible. Um, okay. Of course, this is the color code. All right. Let me check. To confirm. Um, it's almost, it's almost like that. All right. So let's go and. Add text. Let's add text to this canvas. I hope we are all seeing what I'm doing. All right, so let's add text to this canvas. Um, so we'll click on the text tab. All right, so let's just, there are a lot of templates for text as well. A lot of templates, different, different, crazy templates. If you want to do a party, I'm sure this is a, a party. This is like a kind of template you want to, a kind of text template if you are going to invite people for a party. You know, something like blue, something like this, something fun. So let's just use normal text now that we can customize by ourselves. So once you add text, you'll see that some other settings come up here. Some other settings come up here. And of course, the one that you can see that I do here, please note them down. If not, please, as like I said, refer to the refer to the full course. Um, so let's go and check what is written there. Best standing font for carousel. Best standing font for carousel. All right. So let's type it. Capital letter. Best standing font for. All right. Now you see that this carousel, what carousel is written in a different letter. It's different color, sorry. So what we now need to do now is that what I will do is I would click on it and then come here, this three button, and click on this to duplicate it. Or I simply press Control D or Command D to duplicate it, and then I like everything by clicking on all and writing carousel. Oh, forget this name of carousel. Right. Let me check. I got it. C A R O U S. Yep. I got it. All right, good. 
Now, we are just starting with this design. So, what we need to do now is that, look at this design now. Everything is aligned to the left. So you get this, this is, so that's why I say you should go and watch a tutorial on grid. Grid tells you positioning of text or elements in your design. So go and watch that tutorial on grid. G R I D. So everything is aligned. Everything is on one line. So notice that. So let's make that in our own design as well. So to do that, come here and align everything. Align everything. Drag it. And then of course I'll change that font style. Uh, very very soon. I don't really like this background. I want to make a different background. But, all right, let's change the the font style to something similar. I will, I'm trying to guess which font style is this. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I, 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 I can have it. I can take a good guess. So, to change your fonts, click here, and uh, there are hundreds of thousands of fonts. Some are free, some are paid. I thought these ones are paid fonts. Uh, so I. Let me try Baybas new, a bold version of it. Um, I think it might be that. Let me try Anton. I think it's Anton. That font, yeah. Let me check. It looks like Anton. I might not be able to guess it. So let me change this back to Anton. We can make it with Anton. All right. Now, you see that every word is under the other. It's a sentence, but one word is under each one. And so let's, let's try and do that for our design now. So what you do is that you come here, look at this box. There are places, you can use this to adjust the size. Just when you put your mouse here, you can drag it to adjust the size, and you can come here to add plus or minus to adjust the size. But when you go to this place here now, you can, you can do this in two ways. You can come here, put your arrow here as if you want to edit it, and press enter to go to the next line. But that's not how I like doing it, right? I will just come here, put my arrow here, and then squeeze that box. Squeeze that box. I've squeezed that box and uh, a little bit. So let's bring this down. I've squeezed the box. Now the box will now bring down the text, bring the text a bit. Um, how would I put it? A bit is to squeeze it so that the word will come under each other, and then um, let me increase the font size. Let me just go to 82, let me take it to 104. Let me increase it a little bit more to 120. Okay, um, to drag your this thing, just click outside, then click. And then drag and then let me come here and make this 120 as well we might reduce it later if we say that there's no space in the design but our design is taking shape now let's look at our inspiration there's no much space between each letter right each word i mean there's no much space so we need to reduce the space in between our own because the existing space is too much so to do that click here and then you, there's letter spacing to space the letters, right? Let's reduce that a bit. Yeah, around that. And then let's reduce the space between the lines. Okay. Absolutely amazing. Good. We are getting somewhere. And then let's now increase this, this size very, very well. Let's increase it. Good. So it is 160. So let's make this 160 as well. So let me just type it 160. Enter. All right. As you can see, our design is taking shape. It's becoming more like this. This is pink. So let's change that to pink color. Uh, to change color, click here. And let's look at pink color. I think so. Let's check if that's correct. Yeah, I think so. Okay, pink. Yeah. So, I think that pink is a little bit deeper than that, but we are going to make do with that. All right. So now we need to go and look for this image of a lady that is. Let's look for an image like this, right? Let's look for this image, and 
you can get your images from different places. You can use Google. Actually, a lot of people will tell you that not to use Google, that Google is too... Yeah, 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 yeah. Google has the largest collection of images in the world. So, please use Google if that's easy for you. So, let's say lady showing surprise. Black lady. Black girl. Okay, black lady showing surprise. All right, so let's see what Google will give us. Click on images, so you can see. All right, so now, to create, to get the best image quality, do this. Come here, when you search on Google for images, click on tools, and then come here to size, and then click on large. Click on large, good. All right. Now you see all these images have watermark on them, so you can use them. You just need to look for an image that does not have watermark and use them. Now if you see that you can't really find any image, you know, all the ones we'll have used, like these ones, they have watermark in them. Uh, this looks like a nice one, I can see, free peak. Mm. We don't have to use the exact same image, right? Because we might not be able to get this. This image might be, might actually be a photo shoot that they did in this company. It's possible. So we might not be able to get it. But let's see if we can get something close. Something close to it. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see if we can get something close. All right. So this one looks close. What do you think? I think this one looks close. This one looks close. So let's see. Does it have a watermark? Uh, let me see. I don't think it does. But I don't like this image size. This image is just 612 by 480. It's a small image. But I think since we, since it's an online image, we can we can get away with it. Let me try this if this is good. This is not bad. Let's download this. So save image. Um, so let's change the name of the image to um, surprised lady and save it. All right. Now we've saved that image. We need to bring it into Canva and add it here. But we cannot. Okay. Let's 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 bring it into Canva. Let's click, go to my downloads, surprise lady, right there, that's the image. Now to upload an image, you click here, here on uploads. I've uploaded many, 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 many images, many images. Right. So click here and just drag it there and it will upload. It will upload. But you see, we can't use this image. Let me click, bring the image. We can't use it because it has a white background. And if I was paying for Canva, I will be able to just click and then we move this background. But as tech people, we have shortcuts, you know, there's always shortcuts. So there's a website called remove.bg. Remove.bg. What that website does is it removes background of any image you upload. So just upload your image and the background will be removed clean. So let's just drag this and drop on remove.bg. And under two seconds, Voila, background is out. Download it again. And yes, all right, let's come back to our design and upload that version that the background has removed. That they removed. As you can see. All right, upload that version. Sweet. I hope you're enjoying this change. <laughs> Look at what I'm showing you for free. Oh my goodness. You guys, you guys should. Should, you know what, be considerate and then go and buy that cost, honestly. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to finish this training right now. Um, so drag it to the site, and then, uh, so let me, let me crop this a little bit, and then click here, like I said before, um, drag this image, big, 
we have this image to be B. Now, we are getting there. Look at this design. Like I said, we could not get this exact picture. But this text is behind this lady. You can see the L, the last letter in L in carousel is behind the lady. So we need to do that for our image. Now, the carousel is, we need to do, we can do this by two ways. But let's just do the easy way. The easy way is to click on this particular box where this letter is and double tap, double click or right click and then click on send back. Send back. As you can see, when we do that, that image has gone, has gone backwards. So let's just drag this a bit. Let's just drag this a bit. We don't need to show the entire body of the, of the lady. Let's reduce this size a bit. Let's reduce it a little bit. Okay. Right. Uh, let's reduce our own this design also a little bit. Like I say, we're going to reduce this to we're going to reduce it anyway. So all right. Can you see that we have done an act a fantastic we have copied this design? Fantastic design we've done. As you can see, and we've done it under 10, under 20 minutes, right? So I don't like this blue. I want to change this background to something better. So I always like dark background. So let me look for a dark color. Now I'm customizing the design based on what I like. So let me use this. Uh, 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 uh. Now if I'm going to use that dark background, make sure that your your letters, your letters and your and your background are contrasting. They are a bit different. So I can't leave this black like this because my background is almost black. So I'll change this to white. Yes, so I'll change this to white. And then I don't like the fact that this image is hanging, cutting like this. So I'll just drag this down. So it's a bit as if she's balancing somewhere. Since the image we took is not perfect, we have to just use it like that. Let me shift this. So to shift an image, you can hold it and drag it with your mouse. Or you can just use your arrow keys on your keyboard and just shift it. Right. My 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 people, have you not seen what we've done? Then okay, there's a logo here, so you can add logos. Let me add digital skill school logo. So go to uploads. Let me add digital skill school logo. Digital skill school logo. Let me reduce it. There is minimum. Uh, you can add any logo. Okay, let me zoom in and reduce this logo very well. Because the logo you see here is very small. It's very, very tiny as you can see. So, um, all right. So we've added our logo. And what is remaining in this design? Nothing. Nothing. This design is <coughs> absolutely sweet. All right, let, let me see what else is there. Okay, let's add our handle at Digital Skill School. All right, good. Let's look for, let's go to text and look for a small text. Click on it and then type our handle at Digital Skill School underscore. That's our handle. Please follow us on our, on our Instagram, Digital Skill School. Or search for the hashtag digital skills school and follow the hashtag digital skills school on Instagram. So let's reduce this to something very small. All right. Okay. My goodness. Design is ready now. What else? What else? So if it was a since it's a carousel, we there is the added numbers. The added numbers. So. But since we're not designing a carousel, we're designing just one design. There's no need to put numbers. We'll have to put numbers in for the carousel. Now, if the carousel you want to design, just create plus another page, another page, another page, and then create all these, create all these different, different, you know. Because we don't have time, we can't create everything. We can't create everything. And so let's just create just this first page. So as you can see, 
who, who knows if they even did this if this design in canvas set you will not know you know so let's delete this so to, to delete a page just click on delete delete and delete then let's delete this first one we did delete all right so that is it guys i mean isn't this a sweet design come on now but well, let me change this logo to the I change that logo. <laughs> yes, let me change it to the black version because our logo we have two versions: the black and the, and, the, and the white. So let me change it to the black version. So let me just bring it down to your seats. Let's see. Let me rush, rush down. I right, delete that and bring this because the background is dark. So let's just let's not use anything that will distracts people from the main design. So as you can see, the background is blue, my text is white, and then one color, one color. Now, digital skills for our colors are, are white and, and black and red. So let me change this to red. Let me change this to red to see how, it's, how it will look. I think the red is better, don't you think so? Wow. So that is it. We've <laughs> created a design. Very smooth. Let's export. So now, if you finish your design, you want to um, bring it out to becoming a picture, and you can now send to the client that, like, oh, I've done my design, this is it. So you go to click on share. There are so many ways to share your design. But let me just show you one, the same thing, which is just to download it. You click on share, and then click on download. There are so many ways. And then you decide you want to make it, you want to export as a JPEG, as a PNG, as a PDF, and the rest of it. Canva can also do video, so there's also a, a, a way to export as a video. So, if you are going to share this image online, I suggest you do PNG. But if you're simple, you see here suggested. For PNG, the megabytes, the, 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 the image will be a bit heavy, right? So this image might end up being 1.2 megabyte, but if I choose JPEG, JPEG would be like a kilobyte, but the quality might not be too sharp. So let's just use PNG and then click on download. And voila, our design is being downloaded. And congratulations. Oh, we did not name our design. Always name your design. Let me name the design and download it again. Um, um, graphic DSS practical. DSS practical. That's the name of the design. So let me download it again. Alright. And, and, and this design will always be saved as long as I have my camera. And there, are, there are designs I've done in the past how many how many years I've been using camera. The designs are still on this camera. So even if you were to accidentally delete it from your phone. Or your laptop, you can always open Canva again and download it. So let's go to our download. Look at the DSS practical. This is our design. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've not seen it. I've not created it. So yes, I don't like this image I use because the face of the lady is a bit blurred. As you can see, it is a bit blurred. So that's why it's always good to look for large images. When you are looking for designs, click here. Click on um, tools and then click on large. Very, very, it will give you large images. Okay, guys, that's about it for this part. I'm going to share this on the group for those that did not attend this training. They missed a lot. They missed a lot. All right, that's about it for this particular training. And I'm going to end this now for the YouTube people. And then let's go into question and answer for the people that are joining us live.